In some regions, the disruption reaches military levels. Attacks on water infrastructure, dams, pipelines, and treatment facilities become tools of coercion. A single strike can devastate a city's drinking supply or flood farmland, producing immediate humanitarian crises without ever firing a traditional weapon. In the most extreme cases, countries might mobilize troops along rivers, guarding strategic water points or seizing control of critical infrastructure. By 2075, such scenarios could affect billions, with conflicts flaring from Africa to South Asia, the Middle East, and Southeast Asia. The consequences are global. Forced migrations increase, economies shrink, and international alliances are tested. While open war over water may be less common than forced cooperation, experts agree scarcity heightens the risk of both cross-border and internal violence. The rivers that sustain life may define the borders of tomorrow's conflicts, and the question for humanity becomes not if, but where the first major water confrontation will erupt.